615 and we're starting out at 47 degrees on daybreak. We are just a week away from Halloween, but Western New York is starting the celebrations a bit early tonight. The Fashion Outlets is hosting its seventh annual Boo Bash. Families can come out for some safe trick or treating along with a DJ dance party and other activities from four until six inside the mall. And the Mad Urban Center is hosting a trunk or treat for the community at the Central Terminal. That's from five until seven tonight. All right, a lot of options out there. And as Halloween events start up, Oshai Children's Hospital, they're sharing ways to keep your family safe. Yeah, from costume safety to Halloween street smarts and more daybreaks. Lauren Hall's live in the newsroom right now with what parents need to be reminded of this Halloween. Hey, Lauren. Hey, good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Pete. Well, getting into an accident is probably the last thing on your mind as you get the costumes and candy together over the next week. But the reality is, is that children are more than twice as likely to be fatally injured by a car on Halloween than any other day of the year. So we do have some important and serious reminders. Talk to your kids before going out about paying attention when they walk distracted driving by uh, walking. That is by things like text texting, talking, or just looking at your phones that can distract you from being safe. Always go out in groups and cross the street together at established crosswalks and only go up to a house that has their porch lights on and ideally a well lit pathway to the front door. Now, when it comes to choosing your costume, you want to choose bright and reflective costumes for kids, especially if they're going to be trick or treating in the dark. Carrying a glow stick can also help them with visibility flashlights as well. Also choose costumes that are fire resistant. Non toxic makeup is best and make sure to take it off before the kids go to bed to avoid any skin or eye irritation. And then when you get when you get home, always inspect that candy. Check for tampering, food allergies and choking hazards before you let your kids enjoy. Drivers is another group that really needs to be careful on Halloween night. Anyone behind the wheel wants to walk out for children in dark clothing, especially pulling in and out of a driveway uh, on roads, medians and curbs as well. And if you're a new or inexperienced driver, it might might be best just to stay home on that night one week from tonight. The countdown is on. Peter Melissa, back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Lauren.